Hey friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm a hot mess on a mission. Now before we get into the kitchen to make some healthy snacks to keep me on track, um, I want to talk a little bit about the next 100 days or actually the last 100 days of 2022. Um, I've created a group on Facebook um, called 100 Days to Gist, which is 100 days to get your stuff together. And um, what we're doing is we're supporting each other in this group to get the stuff done. That that um, list of projects that you just never seem to get to, but it would feel so good if you could say they were done. Those are the kinds of things we're going to be doing. And those goals that you probably set a goal for 2022 to do things, to get organized, to lose weight, to do that sort of stuff. And you're still struggling and um, you haven't gotten there yet. Well, this is where we're going to focus and we're going to finish strong, y'all. Um, so if you haven't joined the group, go ahead and go over and join the group. Um, I will put a link to it uh, below. And it's called it's called 100 Days to Gist. But the, the picture at the top says, let's finish strong together. And so you'll, you're not, you will know that you're in the right place um, if you see that on the banner. So anyway, I also want to talk a little bit about how to get started. Because getting started is, is the most important part, right? We can't finish if we don't start. So here is what I recommend doing, okay? Make a list. This is this is blank. I haven't actually made my list yet. I am working on my list. I actually have my list or parts of my list written in different places and I just need to compile them into one cohesive list. Um, now, the first thing that I want to talk about, there's two different kinds of lists, okay? There's one is a project list and that is a list of things that you need to get done that you've been putting off, whether it's getting that spare bedroom cleaned up and organized or your master bedroom organized or whether it's building that fence i've got to fix my fence that's one of my big ones um just whatever those chores are or those projects are that you just need to get done once and for all so you don't have to worry about it or until it needs to be done again um and so that's one kind of list the other kind of list is that kind of self-fulfilling self love that's that's cheesy now just that self-improvement list like if you're wanting to really start eating healthier or you really want to start exercising more or stop smoking or just something that you've been wanting to do and you just kind of lollygag or just don't really get serious about it about it that's me hello um i am I am working, I am a work in progress, y'all. I'm a hot mess and I am on a mission. And so right now let's, let's like join our missions to be a better self and to have a better, create a better environment mentally, physically, um, internal, external. Let's just, let's get busy. Okay. Because you've heard if you don't take care of, when you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of others. When your pitcher is empty, you can't fill everybody else's cup. And so today's video is actually me filling my cup so that I can be here and show up better for you guys because my my cup, which is literally in my kitchen, is empty. And that is my healthy food, easy to grab, ready-made things that will keep me on track, okay? Because when I get stressed, um, I make bad choices food choices. Um, I really don't make bad choices other than food choices, but I go hard on the bad food choices whenever I go. So anyway, I'm getting back on track and I am doing some batch cooking today, which is what we're going to see here in a little bit, but I just wanted to share. Now is the time to make your lists. Join the group, which is over on Facebook. Link is below and get ready to finish strong. Here we go, let's go to the kitchen now, come on. Okay, something else that I wanted to share is don't wait for everything to be perfect before you start that project because trust me, that's one of the big reasons I don't get started is because I'm waiting for the 
the perfect situation. The weather is not too hot. It's not too cold. It doesn't work, y'all. It is always too hot or too cold, okay? Um, or, like, before I shoot a video, my stove has to be clean. My kitchen, my, my sink has to be empty. No, okay? If I do that, then I'm, at this point in my journey, I am going to be so exhausted mentally and physically by the time I get all the, because I can't just clean the stove, y'all. Like, I wipe it down, now I'm cleaning the inside of it, I'm scrubbing the sides, I'm, you know, and I'm just, I, I can't do things halfway, um, or it's not done at all. Uh, so, don't make everything have to be perfect before you get started. Right now, there are dishes in my sink, but I'm not going to show you my sink, so that doesn't matter. Um, I'm probably not going to, I hope I don't show you my stove, because I don't plan on, um, well, you might see my oven, but anyway. Don't wait for everything to be perfect before you get started. Just get started. So now, let's get started. Okay, so the things that I'm gonna make today, the plan is um, I'm gonna make some better than oatmeal. I'm gonna make some cookies, some breakfast cookies. Um, I'm going to make three salads in a jar. I'm making my bread because it's my go-to, like when I'm craving bread. And this is the bread that I've made forever. I have a video on how to make it. And um, it is in Keto Made Easy, Matt and Mega's book, Keto Connect, their book. Um, and I will put a link to it below. And um, I'm also going to be making some cheese crackers, which is just cheese that you cook in the oven. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to be baking some things because in my salads in a jar, um, I'm not a very salady person. Like, typical salad ingredients like celery and uh, uh, tomatoes and cucumbers <laughs> and things like that. I don't, I don't really care for that sort of stuff. Um, and so I'm going to be making one of my salads with roasted vegetables, one that will probably have fruit, and you'll just have to wait and see. They're gonna be delicious and they're gonna be healthy. And that is really all that matters, isn't it? Plus I'm getting some greens. So anyway, I think that's everything. That's all, let's get to it. Just FYI, this, this recipe actually calls for you to separate your eggs and whip your egg whites and then fold them in to the rest of the batter. I don't do that. That's too much for me. And the bread turns out just fine. Maybe not quite as fluffy. I don't know. It does the job and it's a lot easier for me. So that's why you see me not separating the eggs. So I still get them to fluff up quite a bit. That will go down. And I start adding the rest of the, the ingredients. After I got the batter made, I realized I had not preheated the oven. So I decided to go ahead and start chopping up my sweet potatoes that I'll be roasting. This is me trying to slice a frozen Brussels sprout, which I realized was a bad idea. So I'm just putting them aside and I'm gonna work on my carrot. Once my Brussels sprouts were thawed, I did cut them up and then added them to the rest of the vegetables, added some avocado oil, tossed and then added salt, pepper, and garlic.
Okay, so while the vegetables are roasting in the oven, I am going to, I've had to wash my eggs because they're fresh eggs and you know, they don't, they don't come out of the coop clean all the time. If you know, you know. So we're gonna put these in here. I have discovered at my location, and um, the way I like it, uh, the best for me is three minutes. I know there was like a five, five, five thing in the beginning when Instant Pots first came out. Um, but that was too long and I had yellow around my egg yolks because they were just, you know. And if I do them two minutes, um, they're harder to peel, or at least the last time I did them. Now, it probably won't matter if you had um, store-bought eggs because store-bought eggs are generally easier. Uh, what? Okay, store-bought eggs are usually um, easier to peel anyway, but farm fresh eggs tend to be more difficult. Okay, I can never read this. Why do I not, oh, that's venting, so that is what I want it. All right, so here we go. So this is my loaf of bread. It's done, um, and I'm just still letting it cool. It's probably cool now. Um, enough to flip out. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that while these are boiling, steaming, cooking, whatever. I always cool my bread on one of these so that it doesn't get kind of sweaty on the bottom. So hopefully it will let go right away. Please don't fall. Come on, but at least come out. Dang. Sometimes you just have to get it to let go. I'm on. There we go. Okay. Voila. This is ready. My eggs are getting done. My vegetables are roasting. Okay, so I've roasted my vegetables and I've boiled and peeled my eggs and now we're going to create the salad. If you're going to add your salad dressing, you'll do that first, um, but I'm not going to be doing that uh, because I'm going to add my salad dressing at the end because I, I, I'm not sure what salad dressing I even want at this point. So these roasted vegetables, uh, I'm going to... Uh, split those three ways um, and like I said I don't like a lot of salad typical salad stuff <laughs> and so this is what I'm doing um, I am also going to cut my egg let me move this out of the way um, I'll, should I cut my egg yes I'm going to go ahead and cut my egg first um, and look how perfect they are because I used that. Okay. I'm just going to. Oh, and one of the other reasons that I do not, I'm going to put one egg in each. And um, one of the reasons that I don't put the salad dressing on first is because I don't plan on eating them out of a jar. That's just a little too tedious for me. And, um, a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, you put your salad dressing in, and then you just shake it up and pour it out. I don't want to lose all that salad dressing that sticks to the side of the jar, and I don't want to mess with scooping it out. So, I'm going to put my salad dressing on after I put it in a bowl. Let me get all that out. Okay. One more. And I'm not making, as you can see, I am not making a complicated recipe because I am a picky eater and I don't like a bunch of stuff like that. Break that in half. Um, I just want to pour it out into a bowl, already made, add my dressing, and be done with it. That's what I want. That's all I want. So there is this. And the next thing I'm going to add, you know, I'm also going to add some toppings but the toppings are going to come after this okay just this one is just almost spent my husband is going to have to get some of the fresh stuff and I 
Like these tips, these little tops, I kind of like those. And so I'm going to split those all three ways. Because the further down you get, the more you get all of this, you know. So let's spread it up in there. You get all of this crunchy part. But you know, I used to hate the crunchy part. And you know, I really like the crunchy part. Um, which is a good thing because you get a lot of crunchy parts when you get a salad at, uh, what's that? What's that place called? Uh, Texas Roadhouse. They give you a lot of crunchy bits. But you cover it in, you cover it in, uh, that's the last one I'll get off of it. Um, you cover it in dressing and it's just fine. And my typical dressing that I prefer is blue cheese, but I also use honey mustard. Um, of course, I like sweet or completely funky. I'm one or the other. Okay, so to add a little brain power, I'm going to add some nuts. I'm adding walnuts. Boop. Come on. There. And for a little added sweetness, I said I was going to add some fruit to some. This may be the extent of my fruit. I'll save my fruit for some of my sweeter things. This is pretty. This is going to be pretty sweet. So there we go. There is my salad in a bowl. All I have to do is add my dressing. It's already made. I don't have to mess with it. I don't have to cut anything up. Um. And my lettuce is going to stay fresher. Oh my. Is that one? Yeah, okay. It looks good on that end. Okay. Lord have mercy. What is the problem here? Wow. Here it goes. I cannot screw on a lid. Okay, and in my fridge they go. Okay, so the next recipe, I'm actually going to post a separate video with the recipe on it. This is one of my favorite recipes. This is similar to the recipe that I posted a while back um, for fall inspired breakfast cookies, but um, these are going to be chocolate, and these, you guys, are so Let's get down to it. dough tastes good because I can taste it because it didn't have egg in it. Not that Ed would stop me. I won't mind having that with coffee. Mm -mm. So there you have it. There you go. Okay the last recipe is kind of a high protein snack. Maybe a bedtime snack. It could also be for breakfast and it's going to be a lot of the same ingredients that I put in the cookies, but this time it's going to be in this luscious, creamy dessert, or it could be a breakfast or a snack, but it's really good. Okay, and so I guess like it's oatmeal, better than oatmeal. It's kind of protein based, so it's pro meal. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to call it, but the first thing we're going to do is get our get our canned coconut, full cream, and all that good stuff. You know that shimmer and shine from coconut milk? It's just, I find it mesmerizing. I don't know why. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to add, before I add um, my chia and flax, because those are going to um, thicken, uh, but before I do that, I want to add in my chocolate protein powder. 
And I'm also going to throw in some peanut butter powder. It does have some sugar in it, Ugh. but I bought it and I'm going to use it. Waste not, want not. Um, and so this is going to be like a chocolate peanut butter type dessert. And so now I'm going to stir these up to make sure they get really well incorporated into the cream of coconut milk. Okay, coconut cream, coconut milk, canned coconut milk. Uh, I probably could have used a little immersion blender thingy, but that's okay. That's good enough. All right. Da -da -da -da. So now I'm going to add maybe about yay much of the whoa of the ground flaxseed, and I'm adding four. Actually, you know what? I'm only going to do three of the uh, because I can add more later if I need to. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add another one. I'm going to go ahead and add another one. These are tablespoons, by the way, um, and I'm going to make four servings um, that are this size. Um, or half of this, half of this size. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. Now, I'm going to give this a good stir because these, as time passes, those will thicken and make it kind of a pudding texture. Okay, hang on, let me just... Mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. You can sweeten it um, just a little bit if you want. Right now, it, it tastes fine. Um, I probably would, but I'm just going to add. This is uh, liquid stevia, but it's vanilla flavor. So I'm just going to add some of that. Um, just you know, make it a little extra sweet. All right. So I've added. Um, so I don't lose track of everything. I've already added. I've added. I've added chia. That's chia. I've already added chia. I've not added hemp. So now we're going to add hemp. And we're going to add about two handfuls. You saw how full my hand was. And then we're going to add about the same amount. These are actually chopped walnuts. There we go. And, you know, a good handful of slivered almonds. Um, I usually add sunflower seeds, but I decided to use slivered almonds this time just because I can. I usually add shredded coconut to this recipe, but I was out today, didn't add it, and it was just fine. All right, guys, so this is everything that I made today. If you will notice, there is one less salad in a jar. I've already had that for supper tonight, and let me just say, it's already saving me from making bad choices because I did not feel like making a salad. Um, and I probably would not have made one and I would have ended up having some kind of quick and easy, not so good for me, carby supper had I not had that one ready. Um, and then I, we've got our breakfast cookies, the better than oatmeal that can be a snack. It can be a bedtime treat. It can be breakfast. Um, and then I've got my keto bread ready to go anytime I'm having that carby craving oh and i've got more recipes to bring you that are keto friendly and so nutritious um that are going to be um some jam jelly type things all right guys so that's it if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i will talk to you soon very soon i love you guys bye y'all